Happy New Year! Here is my outlook for 2024. I would like to thank all of you for your loyalty and the good discussion culture in the comments. A healthy and happy 2024 to all of you! It is not yet possible to predict everything that will be deployed this year. We will see where exactly the focus will be in the Linux year 2024. Nevertheless, this is a bold outlook on what we can expect in 2024. Spring Linux kernel 6.7 was released at the beginning of January 2024. Further kernels in the 6 series are expected in the course of the year and kernel 6.8 is expected in mid-March. According to tradition, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS will be released by Canonical on 21 April. As usual with LTS versions, there will be 5 years of support and then further 5 years of ESM via an Ubuntu Pro subscription. Ubuntu 24.04 will drive forward with the Snap integration. In addition to the usual version based on the Debian package, a version based exclusively on Snap packages is also expected. We can expect GNOME Shell 46 as the desktop interface. New flavors will also be released with a new Ubuntu version. The flavors are the regular Ubuntu edition, but with other desktops such as KDE Plasma with Kubuntu, Mate with Ubuntu Mate, or XFCE with Xubuntu. The direct competitor to Ubuntu and Canonical is Fedora and Red Hat. Fedora 40 is also expected in April 2024. Fedora 40 will be modernized to the powerful package management system DNF5. Furthermore, Delta RPMs will no longer be used for updates. Patches will no longer be offered as Delta packages. The new Anaconda Web UI tool is intended to provide an improved installation routine. Fedora 40 also marks the start of the second phase of the OS3 native container project. This is an extension of the RPM OS3 stack to natively support OCI Docker containers as a transport and delivery mechanism for operating system content. Phase 1 was initialized with Fedora 36 and the mechanism is now considered stable and will take a larger role with Phase 2. However, DNF will significantly cover the functions through extensions. Version 23.2 of Amex Linux can be expected in the course of the spring. The Debian base will remain largely unchanged, but packages such as the MX tools may be revised or supplemented. The AHS edition could be supplemented with a fresh kernel 6.6. .6. It remains to be seen whether KDE Plasma 6 will already be offered in this version. The KDE project will release version 6 of KDE Plasma and the sum of a new Ubuntu LTS version and a new KDE Plasma version is a new stable edition of the in-house KDE Neon distro. The developers of the GNOME project are expected to release GNOME Shell 46 on March 20, 2024. Summer System76 will release a new version of PubOS. It is expected that the new in-house development of Cosmic Desktop will debut on Pop! OS 24.04 LTS. However, since no preview version of Cosmic Desktop was released during 2023, it can be assumed that this was for a reason and that the new desktop environment needs some time. It is therefore quite possible that we will not see Pop! OS 24.04 shortly after the release of Ubuntu 24.04 this year. This is more plausible than assuming that System76 will deliver POP2404 again with Cosmic Desktop based on GNOME Shell. The debut of Linux Mint 22 is expected in June or July. Cinnamon Desktop 6.2 will be included. The kernel could be the LTS kernel 6.6 .6, which was released in October 2023. Further features of Linux Mint 22 are currently still unknown. The OpenSUSE project is planning version 15.6 of the Leap release, which will maintain the LTS release and bring fresh apps and possibly also desktop packages. Whether this will be the last version of OpenSUSE Leap or whether we will also see Leap 16, we hope to find out in the course of the year. Autumn the Elementary OS project is expected to release version 8 based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. 
Although the project does not give any specific detail about the release date in advance and is happy to take its time until it releases, autumn 2024 will be the earliest possible date for OS 8. We can expect Ubuntu 24.10 in October. This is the first interim version after the major LTS version 2404. Major technical innovations could be tried out here again. These include newer kernels and a new GNOME version. More precise details about Ubuntu 24.10 will crystallize in the course of the summer. The flavors will follow sweet and publish their editions with their respective desktops. The Fedora developers will release Fedora 41. Once again, the latest technology will be packaged and delivered. This includes the latest mainline kernel, improvements to Wayland and the latest available GNOME version. The Sorin OS developers could publish the first point release of Sorin OS 17 and thus deliver selective improvements. Winter the Linux Mint developers are scheduled to release the first point release of Linux Mint 22 around Christmas. For Linux Mint 22.1 we can expect Cinnamon 6.4 and, if you want, the latest Ubuntu HWE kernel, which will then also be part of the Edge image of Linux Mint 22.1 and will contain updated drivers and corrections. However, this depends on when Ubuntu releases the first point release of Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. The HWE kernel should then be the backported kernel from Ubuntu 24.10. We will see about that. That's it in terms of what is predictable. Of course, you can also expect new versions of distros such as Mancharo or EndeavorOS. However, as these are rolling distros, these are not really point releases but more accumulated prints that are released from time to time. Speaking of rolling distros, OpenSUSE's slow roll is expected this year. This is a rolling distro, but it will roll a little bit slower than the previous rolling edition OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. The Debian project will also publish further point releases for the stable branch. The previous Ubuntu LTS versions will continue to be supported and we can expect one or two point releases. The development of transactional distros such as OpenSUSE MicroOS or Fedora Silverblue will also continue. Other candidates may also be added. I am expecting another exciting year and we will be taking a closer look at numbers of distros. I'd be interested to know what you are looking forward to or which releases you are eagerly awaiting. Just let me know in the comments and then we can discuss. If you like videos like this, what do you think about a free channel subscription? This including an activated bell will inform you immediately when I have new videos. Thanks in advance. Thank you for being my guest, it means a lot to me. Thank you for your kind attention and I wish you a great start to 2024. Take care and may the source be with you. Good day ladies and gentlemen, peace.